guy is Lego guy back for another another video we're gonna score say speed I'm not speed champions a marble set this is kind of like speed champions set you're gonna see why but we're doing a marble set that came out last summer of course uh the reason I got this set I got it from my from my brother's wife as a late Christmas gift which is pretty cool to say the least it is set number uh, 76244 Miles Morales versus Morbius. Now, this is 222 pieces, uh, basically 220, excuse me, I don't know why I said uh, extra two, but there is extra pieces included. Uh, here's a look at your box, of course, here, and the back of the box as well, which is pretty cool to say at least. <clears throat> you also have one instruction booklet, too, for the whole build, which is not bad. Um, we get a lot of these Spider Man sets, of course, in a way, and I do think this is pretty cool, so. Let's dive in and show you the look at the set and talk afterwards. So let's show you it right now. All right, so here we're looking at the look, the Spider-Man versus Mar Morbius style set. And you can see the car and here's some of the cool things here. We do get two of these little bats you can see here. We're gonna show you guys two are pretty cool that are always cool to get. These are iconic classic bats. And um, you know, I'm not gonna take one. Well, I can probably take one and show you guys right now. Here they look like a horse here. And um, that's what they look like there, of course, guys. Pretty cool looking little bats. Nothing really detailed on them. I wish they had a face on there. This is our another Miles Morales we got, of course, in a way. Let me just see if I can show you. There we go, guys. Uh, hold him up right easily for you guys, too. There's the webbing thing. Uh, he also has some other translucent pieces that I didn't want to add in the view review because basically they're the same as what you see in the car. Uh, but there is a back printing on Miles. Really detailed looking figure. I like Miles Morales. It's one of my favorite Spider Man. Here we all kind of Morbius, of course, too. You can see here is Morbius. And uh, the vials, of course, you can see are really unique in a way. Those are glasses, but they are actually little vials, which. They actually have the piece that's actually the molded piece for that vial, so it's kind of weird that they have that, uh, which is kind of interesting to say at least. Oh, and here's a look at his double-sized head that you can see here too. He's like uh, really kind of just going to really go after Miles, of course. The car, I also want to show you guys too, his look at the car. Now, the reason I said in one of the intro, this looks like a speed champion set, well, this is the eight stud wide style vehicles. It is built like an eight stud wide um, car, of course, in a way. Not really like someone in real life. You can see there's like the fangs. This kind of has looks like a like a spider looking way, kind of with the eyes, of course, small. Or I guess you call those eyes, but pretty cool looking car. The red and the black. The, um, <clears throat> these blue bl flame pieces are pretty cool too, which I do like a lot as well too. And you can see the back of the car as well. You can also remove those if you want to. We're not going to remove these on the back, but to make it like a regular street car. And uh, we're going to show you what Miles looks like in the car. So here's where you take him off here, of course, if you want to. And uh, you space, and you can just add him on here. And, oops, we're gonna put him in there. So let's show you right now, guys. All right, so here's a look at Miles in the car, you can see, and we had a little stuff in the video for a quick second, guys, but there you look at inside the car. And these studs shoes, I'm not gonna put, the, not gonna shoot these because, well, the studs are basically hard to fit in there sideways, but they do show off really quickly. But there's a look at the car, you can see. And if you wanna put the roof back on the car, of course, you just base, we just gotta put it on there like so. And uh, there you go. And the car looks pretty sleek and really neat in a way. And this is Miles' the car. But I always ask the question, like we ask a lot of YouTubers ask the question is, why does Spider-Man or some of his characters need a car when they can swing around and catch the web, the bad guys? I can understand Morbius here. You know, he can probably fly around and probably he's he's, he's harder to catch. But um, Miles, you know, for those who don't know, he has electric style whips, of course, in a way. Unless his car has something else that we don't know about. But it's still pretty cool looking little car. It looks like a muscle car in a way. But... Um, you know, I don't know, guys. It's just one thing that I've always wondered at. Why does Spider-Man need a vehicle? But I guess it's for kids to basically boost up for Lego sales, but still pretty cool looking car. But, um, you know, it's pretty neat. The color scheme, of course, the red and black. It's Spider-Man very well, so pretty cool overall. And you can see my little phone thing, of course, guys, when I do my reviews, the background for Spider-Man. So kind of ironic we're doing that. But anyway, guys, there's a look at the car and style miles in there. All right, for there you guys saw a close-up on that look at the Spider-Man car that we have. And the reason I said, and I forgot to mention, guys, sorry if I started in the beginning, this has 220 pieces in the entire set. There's extra pieces included. Some of I used to do in the past of um, adding those extra pieces on the count because, well, that kind of would be how we get, of course. Um, but that's a different story for another time. This set, I gotta say, though, is that this came out last year. I think it was like in the summertime, I think it was. But it was a like late Christmas gift that my brother and his wife gave me. And uh, I do like it though, and it does resemble, if you look at it, a Speed Champions car. It's eight stud wide, and it's built like that. Um, it's a really neat looking car. I do like the flame piece in the back too. I can see people using this for cool mocks, of course, too, for some cool stuff too. I think there's actually been something for like, these like wing pieces for the Dragons and Ninjago, I could be wrong. Um, the set is also pretty cool. You also have Morbius as well too. Probably some of a draw for the set, I don't know. 
Um, but like I said in this whole set of review is, well, like we did with the Spider-Man Doc Ock set, why does Spider-Man and his characters need cars when they can actually fly around and swing around? Of course, like, the, the villains may be smarter, of course, but you know, you think, what if this gets destroyed? How's Miles going to defend himself then? Um, I will say, though, this set does have some flaws in it. It's just a car with a the fighting against a minifigure, a guy who can fly a vampire. Um, I do want to say the vials also that he has too. Lego made the actual pieces for those vials. Don't get me wrong, they're pretty cool looking. I like them a lot. Um, it's just kind of that Lego has the, the actual piece that we've seen from the previous minifigures, of course. Of course, I could be wrong. The vial piece is like a little small piece that I think we got for, I think it was a scientist character last I saw. I actually have that figure, but that piece could be discontinued. I don't know, but uh, not bad overall. Uh, this set is really cool, though. I like it for some reasons. Many people are going to go for the Miles Morales if you don't have a Miles Morales figure. I know there's been other variants that we've gotten in Lego in the past. That's okay. Um, this car is really cool, though. It can be converted into a regular car if you want to for your city, which I've seen people doing, of course. And the color scheme is not bad. Of course, the red and black, of course, in a way, is not bad as well. Uh, would I get this set if I were you? It depends. Uh, most people are going to want to go for it if you want to basically get the Morbius figure, which I can see people buying on the secondary market. The car is not bad. Uh, the bats, of course, too. I like the bats. The bats are pretty cool. Um, the translucent blue pieces, I can, I've seen people actually buy a lot of these translucent pieces, of course, too, from Mox, of course. We got a lot of extra of these, of course, too, which are pretty cool overall. Um, but the one thing I will say about this car is it's pretty cool. It's not bad. Uh, Miles Morales, like I said, he's one of my favorite Spider-Man. I cannot wait to see when he debuts live action, of course, in the MCU. But um, it's a cool looking set, though. I like the set for many reasons, but I kind of dislike it in a way because, well, you only get a car and only two minifigures. Don't get me wrong, there's nothing bad about the set. I'm just saying enough about that is that, but um, it's nothing bad about the set, of course. It's just a great looking car, but you know, you know, we need more than just, uh, just another bad guy to fight. Cause you know, you know, sets like this, of course, don't get me wrong, they're not bad. And um, I know so a lot of people that gave some negative criticism on this set last year when they got this set. And I'm not giving my negative criticism. I'm just saying this car is pretty cool, but um, it kind of basically could have given us a little bit more. But that's not bad, of course. It's nothing really wrong about that. Um, you know, it's just basically how the set is built. Um, you know, but I do like the car, how it is built like a Speed Champions car, eight stud wide, and uh, it's pretty cool for that reason. Speaking of my Speed Champions, next month in March, March 1st is when all the Speed Champions are coming out. I'm going to try to go for all those, especially that Formula One card that's coming out that's from McLaren, which looks pretty cool. And then there's some other ones too. Then there are also some other ones that are going to be released, I think it's like some. August, September, of course, which is kind of ironic. That's a little bit far away from now, but um, that'll be when I get those as well. So be looking for those when those cars come out, when I get them and I'll review them for you guys, of course. And um, yeah, and also if my brother's wife are watching, big thumbs up and thank you and shout out to them for giving me this set for, or as a late Christmas gift. It was nice, it was thoughtful. I wasn't expecting this and uh, it's also good to get it. Um, I'm gonna be keeping this car for my collection in a way. And I might find a way to display the Morbius figure in a way, make him look like he's flying around. Because um, I like this set, and it's not bad. Um, you know, nothing really, like I said, nothing bad I'm giving about this set. It's just that it's a great looking car overall. Um, you know, I know a lot of people don't like this set, but to me, I don't mind it. Of course, it's a really cool set. And the Morbius figure, I really kind of like him, of course, in a way, if you think about it. But uh, still pretty cool. All right, guys. I hope you guys are enjoying your Sunday. Today is Sunday. And um, we'll be doing some more reviews. I know I said I was going to take a break for a while, but I got the set on when I did. Of course, I built it, and I had time to do a review tonight. So I hope you guys are enjoying that. And uh, we'll be doing some more reviews on you guys hopefully soon. If you guys want me to do any other videos or any other reviews of older sets, let me know in the comments, please. Let me know what you want to see, and I will try to put it when I can. If you want me to do a tour of my local Rick's Minifix store, I can basically do that. I might have to give the owner's permission before I do that, of course. But let me know what you want to see in the comments, and I'll try to get the sets to review for you guys and what I can't do. Uh, please, you know, I have a job, of course. I can't always buy a lot of sets off the of hand and buy a lot uh, like most YouTubers do. But I'll try to put out what I can for you guys to make this channel grow. So I hope you guys are okay with that. All right, guys. But thank you for watching today. I hope you guys are rest of your good evening or tonight or today Sunday. And I'll see you guys next time.